Hello everybody, welcome to Little John Yarns. If this is your very first time here, I'm Alicia. And what we like to do here is talk about all things crochet and drink a little bit of wine. But today I'm feeling a little tired, so I have a tea in my cup. So whatever you're drinking, you enjoy it. Maybe next week I'll come in with a little bit of wine myself. So this week we're going to go over 10 free and quick Valentine's Day crochet patterns. I did want to come out with these this roundup last week, but unfortunately I had to cancel my live stream, my furnace blew, and it was just chaos here. If anybody knows me or has great eyes can, can see behind me, I have like a thousand plants in my house. And it's still winter time and a furnace blew. And everybody knows who has plants. You cannot let your plants get cold because they'll die. So therefore, I took all, I have about 60 house plants actually, jammed them all into this room with one space heater. I closed off the um, craft room and just tried to keep all my plant little babies warm. And it took about four days for them to come fix my furnace. So of course my son and I, we were pretty toasty. We had our space heaters and the furnace people, they took all my money for that brand new furnace, but I'm happy I'm back in the game. The furnace is on and now we can talk about all these wonderful crochet patterns. So I'm sorry for missing you all last week and happy Valentine's day to you all out there. So I'm rambling. What time is it where you're at? What's the weather like? Where's your location? I'm in West Southwestern Pennsylvania, United States, and it's a uh, 47 degrees in Celsius. That would be somewhere in the low teens, low teens Celsius. I still can't do my Fahrenheit Celsius math, so you guys can figure that one out. And it is 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. What is going on? We got Glory in here. We got a whole bunch of faves in here. Gloria, Marty, what's going on? Ola, Joe, what's going on with you? Oh, Annie, Anna, I hope I pronounced your name right. Let's see. Ah, oh, poor babies, my plant babies. I was like, ah, wait, hold on. I, somebody from Westmoreland County. Let's see. Hi, finally able to come on live. I'm here in Westmoreland County. Okay, BJ. Shiftsco, where are you at in Westmoreland County? I'm also in Westmoreland County, near West Newton area. Let me know. You might be a crochet buddy. We got another one. What's up, Wanda? Oh, Yvette, she was here first. Welcome. Let's see. Oh, we even got people on Facebook. Just so you know, I'm dual live stream streaming from Facebook and I'm streaming from um, YouTube. I gave up on Instagram. I didn't like how it was working. And we got Aida coming in here. We love her. Reclected goods. Another fave. Angela. Hello. Jeanette. You were like 25 minutes down the road. 20, 25. Send hold on, girl. Wait, give me a second. Banner. Send me an email. Say hi. How you doing? You know, I like other local crocheters. My email's right there. I don't have, I have like one local crochet friend. She's my best buddy, best crochet buddy. And it's nice to be able to talk to somebody about crochet. I mean, everybody else in the world is wonderful. Don't get me wrong. But it's nice to talk about crochet in person. It's cool. Oh, TK from England, Wanda, of course, from Florida, 70, 80 degrees. I'm jealous. Okay, so, oh, one more, another fave, Angela from Montreal. Of course, uh, Kathleen from the Bronx, I officially, you're, you're in my head as Kathleen from the Bronx. Your name is going to be, last name, from the Bronx. I'm crocheting a chevron dress for my sister-in-law, Addie. I have water in my cup, tea in mine. All right, so like I said, today's live stream is gonna be all about uh, Valentine's Day crochet items. And before we hop directly into this roundup, I'd like to ask you all a question. And before you comment in the comment section, make sure you put question marks in front of it first. So I'll know to pull your name up and show everybody what you're talking about. So the question for you is, 
Have you ever made anybody crochet a Valentine's Day present for somebody? Make sure you put question marks front and then we'll discuss it. So let me pull up my script and we'll go directly into this roundup. And remember, guys, if you want to find any of these patterns, they're going to be linked down in the description box below and they're all absolutely free. All right, let's share my screen. Coming in at pattern number one. Ooh. Actually, I got my patterns all messed up. One second, guys. These are what all the patterns look like on my uh, blog page. Let me pull this up. Okay. This is pattern number one. This is called the Valentine's Day gift bag. Crochet bags are adorable and thoughtful way to package gifts on Valentine's Day. Fill this bag with candies, love notes, or whatever you want. This pattern is quick and easy enough for you to make a bunch of these. The best part of this gift bag, it can be used again and again. The designer of this pattern is Little Dahlia. I can't say it. Doll Alley. Doll Alley? Dalali? Dalali. That's a hard name to say. But remember, you can check her out and all her patterns in my description box. All right, coming in at number, where's my number two? Oh, no. There it is. Coming in at number two is the Valentine's Day basket. And mostly all these patterns since Valentine's Day is around the corner, these are going to be super quick patterns. This basket makes a great presentation and can continue to be used by the recipient to store and display um, other crochet things. The classic V day colors in this crochet basket are perfectly festive. For the big day, of course, you can't have Valentine's Day without hearts. And the designer of this pattern is the Stitchin' Mommy. No, you just can't even go wrong with Von heart a please you can put those on anything all right guys remember we're going to check all those in the description box below back to my face the question that i asked you have you ever crocheted somebody a valentine's day gift myself i have never crocheted anybody a valentine's day gift before it just never crossed my mind. I've crocheted birthday gifts before. I've crocheted baby showers and Christmas. Mm, and that's about it. I've never made anybody crochet gift. Maybe I should. I need to find me a Valentine's Day. Maybe I should. All right, let me hop into the comments and see what you guys got to say. I'm going to hop in at the bottom with Stephanie. I just missed, finished making 14 mini octos for my son's classmates for Valentine's Day. You're that mom. You're that good mom. You're awesome. That was always like, maybe I should do that. And I never got around to making my kids anything for Valentine's Day, even something cute like little hearts. But cheers to you. Uh, Kivia, I hope I said your name right. Oh, you have my maiden name, Brown. I'm calling you my cousin. Or else some stitch markers. Hmm. I can get that one, but here we go. Uh... Kathleen from the Bronx said, I just crocheted oh, the Kango hat. I came out with that last two weeks ago. It won't fit on my hair because I got big hair, but it's the crochet, like that flat cap. Check that out. That video went, I got lots of views on it. So apparently people like the pattern, but the original pattern was from one virtuous woman's. I changed hers a little bit and I also got permission from her first before I did my own rendition of it. But here's that hat. I crocheted a kangle hat and scarf to match for my very best friend, Isaac, that's my son's name, and a set of crocheted red heart earrings for Valentine's Day. What's up from across the pond, crazy poppy lady? Yes, I made hubby a hanging set of boobies in a bra to hang in his car. You are a wonderful wife, <laughs> but he had to take them out as they were too distracting. <laughs> nope, no pattern. I mean, you are dangling jugglies in his mirror. Of course, they're kind of distract distracting. <laughs> Alexandria, I crocheted a bunny holding a heart for a class raffle. But after working on it, I kept it for myself. It was just too adorable. I don't blame you. I've done that stuff. What's up, mister? knit and crochet tiger that would make a nice dice bag for people who like the tabletop 
um, role playing games like Dungeons and Dragon. Genius. Let's see. Knit and crochet tiger. I crocheted a hat for my late boyfriend. Rest in peace. I'm sorry to hear that. But homemade gifts are always the best gifts. Welcome back, Caitlin. I made my husband a bunny a few years ago. What's up? How you doing? Let's see. My grandson is moving to Philly in two weeks. Oh, I'll be there. Oh, wait. I'll be there a lot going forward. Okay, so you're not going to be missing anybody. Good. Always got a reason to get out the house. Let me scroll down and see if I missed anybody else's. And remember, if you want me to see your comment, put question marks in front, just like this right here. Yes, I always crochet hearts and put them in treat bags. You see how she put the question marks in front? That's how I know to bring you up to the front. Kango hat. Love it. Hold on. Let me see if I can put this on one of my mannequins. And guys, if you're just getting to this live stream and you're wondering where all the patterns are, they're link in the description box below. And I also have a pattern for this hat, which Wanda's talking about. Just Google Little John Yarns Newsboy Hat or Little John Yarns Kango Hat, and you'll be able to find this pattern. Wanda said, I did too, and a scarf. Wow, thanks so much. Okay. You do? Like I said, I cannot take full credit. Yes, I changed one Virtuous Woman's pattern just a little bit to make it more slimmer. But the shape, how she shaped it, all praise goes to one Virtuous Woman. I just want to shout her out. Google her, follow her, find her. Awesome woman. All right. Did I miss anybody? All right. Boop. Girl X, what yarn did you use for the Kango hat? Some Red Heart Super Saver. Nothing special. That's it. All right. So we are going to hop back into this roundup. And remember, oh, if you'd like to help support this channel, you can always do that by clicking the Super Chat button. You'll see it in the comment section. When you do, the lights will go off right behind me by my YouTube plaque. And there's bubbles here with a brand new bubble machine that I just put all over the floor. It will blow and you'll get to spin the Wheel of Patterns. My next question for you, what is the rudest thing somebody has said about your crochet or the crafts that you do? Before you comment, just like Wanda did, put question marks in front of your comments so I know to bring it to the front so I'm not going to miss anything that you had to say. Question, anybody ever say anything rude about your crochet or the craft that you do? All right. I believe this one is pull up my script coming in at number. I have these all out of order on my side. Uh, bananas. Give me a second, guys. I'm all confused. I need V-Day mug. Where is this V-Day mug? I am lost on my script. You know what? I'm not going to go off my script. I'm just going to talk about how this mug is. This is a super cute mug. If you want to be able to make something quick and easy, these mug cover cozies are super. And look, they didn't even do a crochet pleat. They just cut out some felt and sewed it onto the cup. You can make this as a gift for a hubby or a teacher or whoever you want to give it to. And the designer of this pattern is Yarn and Chai. Let's scroll down, see if any other pictures of this. And this is how it's worked. Um, back and forth rows, crochet one way, flip, turn, crochet the other way. Any more pictures? All right. Our next pattern. This was supposed to be number four, so these are a little bit out of order. This one's called the Valentine's Day Teddy Bear. A tiny teddy is the perfect way to show someone you care. I think this would make a swell crochet gift for an adult or a child. Using felt for the heart and nose is a great time saver. You can add a cheek, add this to a keychain or hanging loop so it can be displayed. Or like our girl did with the hanging boobies from her 
rearview mirror, why don't you hang a bear instead? A bear, a, bear, a teddy bear instead. The designer of this pattern is Miss Dokapot's Crafties. I like that name. Any more pictures? Look how tiny and cute. There we go. Back to me. All right. The question that I asked you guys, what is the rudest thing somebody has ever said about your crochet? I'll go first. This one, as a crochet YouTuber, where my face is often to the public, I do get comments on videos and posts that I make online that sometimes hurts my heart. I'm going to show you a comment that, oh, let me see if I can pull it, that hurt my heart. I don't, I feel like it was a jab at my, my love for the craft, my love for you, and my love for family all at once. So let me pull up one of the rudest things somebody's ever said about me. I scratched out their name because I'm not like them. All right. She says, I watched and enjoyed your, I watched and enjoyed you for several years. You had favorites and the rest of your subscribers seemed unimportant to you. Once you got divorced, you stopped talking about your children. You changed from Saturdays to Sundays so you can date. That's why I unsubscribed. This woman who doesn't know me assume that I got, I ran off away from my ex-husband. I abandoned my kids and I treat my subscribers bad just so I can go out and do a uh, lady of the night type things. This is not my personality. Let me bring back, hold on me so I can see you guys. There we go. That comment, it hurt my heart. I've never really talked about my divorce on any of my live streams, but I think right now would be a great time for me to give you a quick summary, not everything, about what happened. Well, I did get divorced, and just so you guys know, it was sudden, and it was not by my choice. So I didn't just abandon any type of marriage. It was not by my choice. My children, no, they're not. I don't involve them in my YouTube, not much anymore. My daughter, who used to pop in on a camera all the time. I've been doing this for years. She is almost 23 years old. She's away at college. So therefore she can't hop in to any of these live streams anymore to say hello like she used to be involved. And my son, who was that cute little toddler little boy that used to pop his head in and say hi, he's almost 13. He wants nothing to do with this. I'm not even allowed to post his face on Facebook without him getting upset with me like, mom, that's embarrassing. That's cringy, mom. So therefore, out of respect for my son, I don't involve in, in this anymore because he chooses not to. And it's almost been two years since the whole separation happened. And yes, I did move my live streams from Saturday to Sunday. As a single mom, I only have every other weekend. That's two days a month that I can do things for myself. And I even disappeared from live streaming for almost a year because maybe she's blessed and she's never been through a divorce herself, but that can cause a little bit of depression and makes it hard to work. I don't know if anybody's been through it also. And the fact that she assumed it hurt my feelings and I do have my favorites on live streams. If I see you, like I'll see Knit and Crochet Tiger, Marty, Reclected Goods, Ola Joe, Wanda. I'll, those are the people that I see and I remember them coming back every single week. But anytime you put a question mark in front of your comment, I will always read your comments. I won't push you to the back and I won't forget about you. I care about every single one of you guys. If it wasn't for you, I wouldn't be able to have this wonderful career. So long story short, I've had many things said to me in my YouTube comments, but that one, it kind of hurt my heart a little bit as if I'm a careless person that doesn't care about my family, that just wants to be in the streets and dating men. And if I do want to date, it's been two years. I'm a human being. I'm allowed to do whatever I want. So cheers to me. So that's my vent.
Now we're going to give it to you guys. What's the rudest thing anybody's ever said to you about crochet? Hmm. I'm trying to scroll to the top and who said something first. Do, do, do. Who am I missing? All right. Alexandra says, what are you knitting? Yeah. I was about to say, what do you, I thought you were asking me. I'm, I was about to get offended just like you. Like, no, it's crochet. Wanda, why are you always traveling with yarn? The yarn can ride. Yarn is like your ride or die. It, you go, I go, the yarn goes, this crochet hook goes. Something to do. And it's a great way to block out other people. Caitlin, at an event I was vending at, this Karen got mad at my prices and said that I was trying to steal her products. My dad was even there. Listen, one, most people at like crochet craft events, they undervalue themselves. The prices are so low, not even you're making below minimum wage. So whatever you did right and stealing, there's only so many ways you can tie a knot. I always mess up pronouncing. Thank you, Caitlin. Applique. Yeah, applique. I always say that wrong. <laughs> Wanda says, so I just packed it and pulled out. And when I get to the location, it's my downtime. She's talking about pulling out her yarn wherever she goes. What's up, Simply Now? It must be nice to have all that time and money to spend on a hobby. One, if you're getting cheap yarn, it's not that expensive. It's your hobby. You're allowed to do whatever you want with your time. Ooh, people. I get this. You don't need any more yarn. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I have a lot of yarn. I just had to go yarn shopping. I was a good girl. I didn't splurge. Because you know why? I didn't have black yarn. I had every yarn but black yarn. So I get it. Crazy poppy lady. Ooh, what a waste of time. The item is, what's that? Essen, I don't know what that is. So I told them the pattern is available to buy. Oh, the item is, I don't know what this part is, but here we go. But nothing that you do is a waste of time. Hmm. Wanda. No, I'm going to count how many Wandas that are always popping up to the live stream. That is a popular name. I made a waffle stitch cardigan. Someone said it looked like a new. Mm -hmm. So not sure why she thought that. Sometimes people should keep their thoughts inside of their head. Kathleen from the Bronx says, my uh, sister-in-law said crochet hats are not her style. She doesn't like them. If it's not your style, don't say anything. Nobody asked your opinion on what your style was. I feel you, uh, Kathleen. Mm. My man, Knitting Crochet Tiger. My late boyfriend said that crochet and knitting is tacky. No, it's not. Then he changed his tune when I gave him that newsboy hat I crocheted uh, for our first Valentine's Day together. I think that's when they realize when they see you crochet making something one stitch at a time. Each one of those stitches is like a tiny stitch of love. It takes time to make what we do. There are no crochet machines. Oh, I got you on your typo. Cassandra, not bad criticism. I just had to learn how to size the funky hat that you made. That's probably my fault because I didn't give a gauge in that original pattern. So when this over is too big or too small, you can always stop decreasing or increasing. You probably already figured that out. Girl X, and just so you know, if you're just getting here, I'm asking people, what are the rudest things anybody said to you about your crochet? Girl X says, not necessarily about the actual item, but as a teen back in the 90s, I was asked, isn't that something for old ladies? No, it's for all ladies and men. So, hmm. People were purchasing it. Kivia, I hope I'm... I'm just calling you cousin since your last name is Brown. I have not bought any yarn in a while. Good job.
Oh, Bat Mom. Bat Mom is making a comment on how that person wasn't so nice to me and had their own views about me being a bad YouTuber, bad mom, and in the streets dating thousands of men, which I don't do. Angela Fave, how can somebody talk bad about you? That's crazy. Oh, thank you. Amy, OMG, even figuring out your love life for you. Wow, that's what they do. I was getting dragged. I was like, mm, we don't like you now because you don't talk about your kids and you move your live streams till Sunday. I want a life too. <laughs> that sounds like the ex wrote that comment. No, shh. Me and the ex are cordial, so it's okay with that. Uh, Nessa, Infinity Zero. Zero. That is so sad. It's your personal life and none of their business. You shouldn't have to explain yourself. Uh, thank you. I appreciate that. But I guess sometimes I can understand. It still annoyed me. When you see somebody online a lot, you assume that you know them. But nobody, you never know everything about somebody. But like this is like my very first time ever online truly talking about my divorce. I might have mentioned it briefly, but... Mm. People in these internet streets be crazy. The comments some people choose to leave, which they shouldn't. None of their business. Yes. Knit and crochet tiger. I'm so sorry, Alicia. This is just wrong for anyone to judge you um, using your divorce or children. That is only the business of you and your ex. You guys are wonderful. Amy, yep. I asked my kid if it's they are okay with any pics before posting. Usually they're okay. They okay facing away pics. Yeah, as long as there's no face. My son, I probably can't even talk loud because I'm talking about him. I guess I'm friends with one of his little friends on Facebook, and they went through my pictures and found baby pictures of him. And he was so upset that I have baby, he's 13 almost, baby pictures of him online. And that's embarrassing. So therefore, I do have to ask, like, can I post this pictures of you? Because it's so cute and I want people to see. And if they tell me no, I don't post the picture. And Gloria says, I was told no one will buy that sugar honey ice. That's my favorite word. No one will buy that sugar honey iced tea for me. And always said they know someone who can crochet better than me. Good luck. Like this, I can buy that less at Walmart. Gloria, reclected goods, you know, let them go find that at Walmart because you're not. Mm, that one heats me. And the comment made by that lady says more about her than it does about you. I've also watched you for years. And if she was a real supporter, she would have respected your space. We love you, girl. I love you, too. You're awesome. And I'm trying to pronounce, is it Annie? Like A I N. A and I, A and I, phonetically, is it Annie? So I know how to always pronounce your name correctly. I hate not being able to pronounce somebody's name and just ruining it, ruining it, 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 it. Uh. All right, so we got to talk all about a little bit of my business and we got to talk about what you guys found annoying about other people who don't appreciate crochet. Now, we're gonna hop directly back into this roundup. Oh, remember, if you would like to find any of these patterns, they're going to be linked down in the description box below and you can find them all for free. So the next question that, oh, let me, I see one more real quick and then we'll hop into it. I love that you check in with your kids first to make sure they're okay with pics being posted on social media. I think you should because they have their own little rights, I suppose. <laughs> but the next question I want to ask you is, hmm, name a hobby or a skill that you wish you had. It doesn't have to be a crafting skill. It can be any type of hobby that you wish you had that you don't have at this very moment. So make sure you put question marks in front of it and then we'll bring it to the front and we'll talk all about it. Let me pull up my script. Let's see where we're at on this roundup. No, you guys, thanks for being like my little therapy session. I needed that. I feel like I had to get that off my chest. It was sitting in one of my 
comments. And I'm like, wow, you're just going to post this for the world to see to make me look like I'm a floozy out in these streets abandoning my kids. Ugh. All right. Floozy. I like old insult names. I don't know. I'll use those. All right. Coming in at number five is the Valentine's Day calendar. Have you ever thought of making an advent calendar for Valentine's Day? This design filled each day of the calendar with a little kindness activity for the kids to do. I think filling the days with love notes or chocolates would also be a fun way to count down to Valentine's Day. The designer of this pattern is Loops and Love Crochet. All right. Okay. Applique. Not, app, not applique. Applique. I'm getting this right. Okay. Coming in at number six is the Valentine's Day Heart Coaster. Not a coaster. It's not an applique. It's a coaster. Heart-shaped coasters are a fun and functional Valentine's Day crochet idea. The solid design is five inches um, in size. I think this gift will be a great special event for making a set of four to six with all different colors. I would make these for a nice neighbor or a teacher. And the designer of this pattern is Red Heart Design. All right, back to us. The question that I asked you, a hobby that you wish you had or a skill you wish you had. I have a couple. I've always wanted to learn how to hula hoop, not just hula hoop, but, you know, the person that can hula hoop around their neck, around their arm, toss it up in the air and do that. I always thought that was so cool. I also wish my, my daughter, she plays piano. I wish I knew how to play piano since I don't know how. I made sure my offspring learns how to play piano and she plays it so well. She got a scholarship to school and because she is so skilled at piano, any other things that I wish I could do. This I wish I can do. You ever see those people who do that like yoga and they're like standing on like one hand? I'm never going to attempt it, but I wish I could do that yoga where I'm just balancing my body and being strong. But I guess. I sit on my butt a lot and I don't do that. And yeah. So back to you. What is a hobby that you wish you had? Let me scroll through the comments. Give me a second to find it. Ooh. Okay. This is scrolling back. Uh, talking about having favorites. We all have faves. Wanda's one of them. Self-care is important. We love you. You share your skills with all of us. Thank you so much. And that's why you're one of my faves. Nessa's coming in at a fave too. You're coming in all these comments. So I appreciate you participating. I have also been through a divorce. It's rough. Dating and raising kids is rough too. I'm sorry she said that. If you do want to date, it's not their business. Thank you. Little John's, it's none of their business. Don't let nobody steal your joy. Thank you. Another new fave. Old fave. <laughs> My work colleague was depressed and I told him to crochet because it's very zen. He said, that's for grandmothers. Mm -mm. Now he's an avid crocheter. Tell him, welcome to the grandma club. Let's see. I had a few people say, can you make me a gift? Make me and give me a blanket for free or a sweater. One of them had lost two, ba lost two baby blankets I had made her years ago and gifted her. Listen, you lost not one. You lost two. And you're asking for a three? Your crochet cut off. Just saying. Your crochet cut off. And guys, oh, the question that I asked, what hobby do you wish you have? If you want me to bring your comment to the front, just like Caitlin, put question marks in front of it. Someone else once said that they'd buy my stuff to keep others from having to waste their money on my garbage. Why do people have the audacity to open their mouth and say mean things? This is that's one of the rudest things I've ever heard. Sometimes people say rude things nonchalantly and not think it was mean. This was an attack on purpose to hurt your feelings. Uh. 
Did I read that one? Nobody buy that sugar honey iced tea. Oh, I'm going back too far. Here we go. Here we go. Uh, knitting and playing the piano. I always thought I wanted to knit, but they're just, I love the way knit looks, but it's so such a tiny stitch. So, but playing piano, always wish. Caitlin, kind of wish I can get more comfortable on a camera so I can make crochet and knit full time. The only way to get comfortable is just being on the camera. If you would like, go back to my YouTube, scroll all the way to the bottom to my very first videos. I'm very robotic and mm, I didn't even show my face for the first two years of being on YouTube. It was just my hands. Think about somebody like Hook by Robin. Think about it. Have you ever seen, she's been on my channel, you might've seen her face then, but have you ever seen her face in any of her videos? And she has well over half a million, probably like 700,000 subscribers and she does not show her face. Give it a try. The more you do it, the easier it becomes. Alexandra, wish I can sew, mm, yes, sew my own clothes. Hate dress shopping. I think I put that on my list too. Being able to use my sewing machine. I'm still at my sewing, I still at the sewing the fabric to my clothing level. It's okay. It happens. I can't do it. Kathleen, I wish I can crochet blankets with Grafgan. Know what? You can do it. Or you mean we want to make your own pattern on how to do it. Making your own pattern, I can't. But following along to another pattern, there's a lot of great Grafgan uh, crochet designers like, let me think of her name, Creative Stitch and Diva. She has amazing Grafgan. She even has like courses doing that. Not a hobby. Always wished I could sing. Me too. I be jamming in the shower and in my car, though. Let's see. Shadeen, I hope I pronounced that right. I say I wish I could sew, like really sew. I'm sure I could learn just like I did with crochet, but it's something I've always wanted to do. I wish I could learn how to speak Spanish fluently. Me too. I was on a Duolingo kick for about four months. I'm like, I'm going to be able to speak Spanish finally. But when you have nobody to speak Spanish with you, you lose it. And I'm just out there identifying random words and not able to put them into sentences. And I gave up. Knit and Crochet Tiger. The skill I wish I had was being able to use a sewing machine. I could quilt or make my own clothes if I could. Do As crocheters, do you notice people think that you can sew too for some odd reason? People are like, oh, what can you sew? Nothing. I, I can't. I'm having trouble with hats. I'm like, when I get to parts where you have to sew, like in my tutorial for this, you kind of have to sew the brim. I'm like, listen, whip stitch, do as you do, figure it out. Just get that brim stuck together. Can't do it. Yeah, that person was rude. Uh, Girl X, definitely wish I never gave up the trombone in the fifth grade. Having learned any music, having learned any music instrument, my oldest plays the keyboard and guitar. Isn't it crazy? Those ones that play piano always play multiple instruments. My daughter, she plays multiple instruments. I'm like, how do you even wrap your head around that? I can't even do multiple yarn crafts. I only can do one crochet. Speaking of the person who's a multi craftual reclected goods, spinning, basket weaving, and glass blowing. Oh, there's a glass blowing course up near here. I would love to try it. But spinning, I've always wanted to do that. Melanie, how are you? Oh, dear. What did I miss and just walk into? Oh, we've been talking about rude people and talking about crochet. Right now, we're talking about hobbies we wish he had. And previously, I was talking about me getting divorced and people leave. One, not people. The majority of people are very kind and nice. One person leaving a not so nice comment about me, my character, didn't like it. But Melody says, also, I like to try embroidery or cross stitch, but my eyes just ain't having it anymore. You need to get one of them goggles that make your eyes look big so you can see everything up close. 
Nessa says, Stitch Fiddle for GraphGans. Stitch Fiddle has an online free version that you can make charts and GraphGans with it. Great tip. Do, do, do. All right. I said your name perfectly. Shadeen, did I say it again? You said my name perfectly. Yes, I did. I feel good now. Relearn piano, bow, and play pool. Those sound fun. I don't know the last time I bowled. <laughs> TK uh, from Across the Pond. I'm trying to remember everything. Okay. I'm a spinner, weaver, and crocheter. I think I love spinning. So zen. Whenever I go to like a crafts fair, I'll always see the one person like spinning and I'm going to stop and I watch them. And it's just such a beautiful thing. And if you guys would like to learn how to spin, her name is Jillian Eve. You can find her on YouTube. Amazing YouTuber. She gives amazing history about spinning and teaches a lot about making your own fibers. And she's awesome. Make sure you check her out. Oh, we got another UKer. <laughs> Hello, Georgetta. You're a repeat. Welcome back. Like I said, I'm trying to remember all my faves. If you came here before, I'm going to call you my fave. If I don't remember, just keep commenting so your name will get stuck into my head. All right. So now we're going to hop directly back into this roundup. I'm going to have uh, another question for you. Let's see. Mm. Do you make any fun now? Last time you, oh, when was the last time you made something for yourself? Before you comment, just like uh, TK did, put question marks in front so I know to bring your comment and I'll discuss it. If you don't, I might accidentally skip over you. So do that. So what was, when was the last thing you crocheted something for yourself? Okay, let's see where we are. And also, if you would like to help support this channel via Super Chat, you can do that by clicking the little dollar sign in the comment section. When you do that, the lights will go off, the bubbles will blow, and you'll get to spin the Wheel of Patterns. Okay, coming in at number seven is the heart eyes emojis for Valentine's. Double your love with the heart eye emojis. That's also shaped like a heart. You can use this happy little heart to embellish a handbag, handbag or greeting card or make a few to string together for a Valentine's Day garland. This designer also has five other heart-shaped emoji patterns for you to enjoy. The designer of this pattern is Golden Lucy Crafts. Can you guys see on top? Look at these little hearts. It might be hard to see from your angle, but she has so many others. It's the base pattern for a heart and you just add little faces to it. Let's see if she has any other pictures. Here we go. I don't want to make you dizzy as I scroll. There's one. Here they are. Look how easy. I would probably even be lazy and use felt for everything. All right. Next pattern. Uh, Clues. Coming in at number eight is the Valentine's Day candies. Crochet candies are a great no calorie and sugar free treat for Valentine's. You can use this great free crochet pattern to make candy keychains or embellish a plain crochet hat or scarf to be a little bit extra sweet on Valentine's Day. The designer of this pattern is Cookie Snob. I love my assistant who writes my roundups. She is so witty. This is the greatest calorie free snack that you can eat, but they're super cute. I would probably put these little tinies in a gift bag. Oh, how adorable are those? All right. So back to my face. The question that I asked you, when was the last thing you made something for yourself? I, even though I make most of my stuff for YouTube videos specifically, but it's not really for me. But these last three hat patterns that I've made, they've been for me. Do you want to see a new hat pattern I came out with? It's not released yet. Oh, let me put it on a mannequin. Hats. I don't know. There's. I haven't weaved in all the yarn. I'm calling it the pinwheel hat. Can you see? It's like a pinwheel design. 
but it's a slouchy hat. I wish I would have came up with this near Halloween because I don't know why this feels really Halloween-y, but I like how with the square it looks like it's shifting in a circle. Come on, can't get the angle. So these last hats, slouchy hats, have been for me. I like a slouchy hat for bad hair days. I just pop it on and I look put together. Sometimes my hair just ain't doing it and life is just lifing and I don't got time for it. So these hats are my favorite thing. So I made three hats for myself. I lost, I was, had lost my Crojo for a while, but now my Crojo is coming back. I'm having ideas in my head. This pattern, I'm going off on a tangent, was from a granny square that I made, a pinball granny square. I kept looking at them like, that should be a hat. And it is a hat. So that pattern might be coming out next week. Let's see. Oh, wait. I got a, my thing is it hasn't been going off. Here we go. Okay. Now I had to manually press the button. My bubbles are blowing. Don't worry. Hold on. TK, I love you, but you're getting bubbles. I need to get the bubble. There we go. There you go, TK. This is for you. Thank you so much for donating. Bubbles, they're everywhere. I appreciate so much because you donated via Super Chat. You get to spin the Wheel of Patterns. Here we go. Spin, spin, spin. The crochet granny square hat. In order to receive this pattern, you'll have to email me at littlejohnyarns at gmail.com. <laughs> Unfortunately, I can't find you on YouTube, so you have to email me right down below, and I will send you that pattern. So thank you so much. I know your bubbles weren't blowing. I had to stop this whole life just so you can get your bubbles. You deserve these bubbles. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my floor is so slippery. TK, before this live stream started, I would spilled most of the bubbles on the floor. So it's a little bit slippery over there. All right. What did, what were we talking about? What you made for yourself? What was the last thing you made for yourself? Okay. I'm scrolling to the top. Oh, this is from the last comment about making graph scans. I love Stitch Fiddle. You can create a lot of theirs and print your instructions. Track your progress too. All right. What have you made for yourself? Kate Lynn, just finished a Hufflepuff cardigan to go with the knit beanie I made for yourself. You deserve it. Wanda, the week you made the Kango hat was also made a scarf in the same color, gold. Reclected Goods made a new fur hat in December. Was that the part? That was the purple one, right? That was cute. You and purple. I don't know if you know this. Purple is my favorite color. I never wear it though because I, I don't think I look good in purple. You look amazing in purple. Purple is my favorite to look at. I've always been my favorite since kindergarten. Yellow is my favorite to wear. So you'll probably see me in a whole bunch of yellow or even my YouTube is basically yellow. Hats and scarves. We got crocheted some kitchen towels out of leftover cotton, blocking them now. I'm still crocheting your hat patterns. Winter is almost over in Wisconsin, but I'm still crocheting your patterns. Listen, these last couple hat patterns, slouchy hats. I think you can wear a slouchy hat all year long. Uh, the Kango hat, you can wear that all year long. I really don't make too many beanies that are specifically like winter hats. So make it work. You got this. My girl Melanie says, just now, actually, I just finished a drop stitch scarf on my Addy machine. My first project on it ever. I've got over, I've got overwhelmed and decided to lay down in bed and come here to socialize. Once 
that drop skit. Okay, tongue twisted. The drop stitch scarf, once you figure it out, it's wonderful. The sensory of pulling the yarn to break apart to make the drop stitches is so satisfying on the adding machine. I'm not going to pull it out. If you guys don't know the adding machine, Google it. If you can't knit, this thing is awesome. It just makes stockinettes or flat panels for knitting, and you don't have to know how to knit. I just combined that with a little bit of crochet, and I've made some great things. I used to do uh, tutorials on the Addy machine, but I haven't done one in a long time. But if you would like some great tutorials, you can check at Jojo, uh, Jojo, Ju yeah, Jojo. No, I'm not saying Juju, Jojo. Why can't I remember the rest of her name? But she does a lot of stuff on the Annie machine. Crazy poppy lady. I made a cardigan for myself over a year ago, but my mother-in-law stole it. She is my number one fan. Well, if she's a fan, she's allowed to steal, I suppose. Wanda says, made a hexy cardi for myself a few months ago. Last thing for a while. Sometimes we don't treat ourselves. We're always giving our gift away. I've always said crochet is a gift of love. Do, do, do. Let's see. Two years ago on my 48th birthday, I crocheted myself a tr myself a stuffed triceratops. I always wanted one, so I made it myself from a pattern I bought. I named her Sarah the Triceratops. Sarah the Triceratops. Smooth. She's adorable. Oh, that's so cute. I'm just pitching you like I want to. I'm a grown man, but I want a Triceratops. I deserve one. And you gave it to yourself. I love that. Kathleen says, I crocheted a burgundy spiral show hat and scarf to match. Also, my glasses got bubbles all over them. I, um, I'm also crocheting on a burgundy blanket of boxes with Mary Maxim acrylic yarn. <laughs> Wait, we're supposed to let go of any of our creations? Shoot, I knew I was getting something wrong. No, you deserve it. You work hard. Have you ever made something so nice for somebody else and just kept it? Somebody else in comments said that earlier. I've done that before. Like, this is too pretty for you to have. This is mine. Shadeen says, I made a genre blanket for all the books I read last, read last year and started a snake this year for the same thing. But outside of that, I've made a skull ruffle bucket hat back in October for myself. You are eccentric and creative a genre blanket that is so cool mm. just so you know anybody the next question i'm going to ask you i'm still going through all the comments it's not a question what are you working on if you're working on something cool or you've made something cool and you want to show it off email me right now at littlejohnyarns at gmail.com and after i finish these last two patterns we're going to go behind the scenes and I'm, you can show off your work. I'm going to show everybody your work if you email me a picture of your work. So if you got something cool, want to show me, email me. Let's see. That's the. That's why I thought I should have did it on Halloween, but I didn't have any Crojo back in Halloween. I have my Crojo now. It reminds me like Beetlejuice or something like that. You should totally do that hat with rainbow yarn. Mm, Alexandra, you might have something. Love it. My bubble, they, they, they were blowing. I was just a little late to it. Usually it goes off all by itself and it didn't. Very cool. I love slouchy hats. I have curly long hair and I prefer them since it won't squish my curls and mess up my hair as bad as, and they look cute, right? Oh, what am I missing? Who do, 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 do. Knit and Crochet Tiger says, well, currently I'm working on a stuffed dragon from the Crochet Creatures of Myth and Legend by Megan Lapp of Crafty Creations. I'm a groomie is challenging. Always consider it sculpting. Am I missed anything? Do, 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 do. Oh, we have somebody new here. Hello, Hillbilly. Hey, 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 hey. 
Hail Billy Heaven. I'm new here and loving your fun personality. Thank you very much. Been on some crochet sites that put me to sleep. I was always scared about uh, doing crochet live streams once upon a time. I love my crochet community, but sometimes we can be a little bit boring. I know I could be boring too, but thank you. Her name was Jojo Juju. That's the Addy lady. I know I can be boring too at times. So thank you for thinking I'm entertaining. Pull tab bodice. How did I forget that? It's right behind me. All right. See you, uh, new fave girl X. See you on the next one. All right. We're going to go into the last two patterns or less one pattern. And if you would like to show off your work, you can do that right now by emailing me at littlejohnyarns at gmail.com. And I want to show off your work to the world. So let's get into that last couple patterns. And remember, guys, email me. Let's see what you're working on. If you don't feel like emailing me, you can just tell me in the comments. What are you working on? Coming in number nine is the Valentine wine bottle cover. I love my wine. All right. Delight the wine lover in your life with a stunning red wine bottle cover with hearts. Don't forget the bottle of the wine, of course, or sparkling cider. This is such a fun way to dress up a super easy Valentine's Day gift and make it extra special. The designer of this pattern is Crochet 365 2. Any other pictures? There it is. Inside the wine bottle. Cute. And coming in at number two, 10, 10, excuse me. This is called the Von Times Crochet Notebook Cover. Ah, there's nothing quite as sweet as that new notebook smell for the writer, doodler, or designer in your life. A crochet cover is a great way to personalize your gift and always keep it safe. So it will stay in good condition and last a long time. I think this is super cute for any crochet designer. I don't know if I'll give this away. I will probably make this one specifically for myself to put on like one of my book covers. Super cute. What's the inside look like? There we go. It's just like the old school book covers. You remember being in elementary school and folding your book up and putting it in like paper bags so your books will look new all year long? Kids don't do that anymore because all their books are online. So they don't know the magic of homemade book covers. Oh, the designer of this pattern is Claire Bell Makes. Back to me. Let's see what I missed. Start from the bottom. Reflect the goods. Hooking a long coat vest based on Tibetan panel coats. Ooh, that'd be nice. Name Crochet Tiger. Beetlejuice 2 comes out in September. Michael Keaton, Kathleen O'Hara, and Winona Ryder. And the girl from, I don't know her names, but from The Addams Family, that movie TV show that was on Netflix. It's very Beetlejuice-esque. I see it. All right. So I'm going to hop into my email. If you'd like to show off your work, come over to my email right now with me. Here we go. Oh, we got a lot of people that's sharing their work. Regina Rice. Look how cute and tiny. Your Alma Groomy looks extra neat. I like this. This is beautiful. Like I said to me, Alma Groomy is sculpting with yarn. I love it. Uh, Kathleen from the Bronx. Good afternoon, Miss Alicia. I crochet up oh, the Kango hat and a scarf. Up oh, here it is. Uh, and some heart earrings. Let's check them out. There's that Kango hat. Love it. Love the scarf. You're just ready for Valentine's. These are cute. I love red too. Red is another favorite color of mine to wear. Cassandra, my apologies if this is a duplicate. I'm not sure if the first one went through. I think this is the only one. We'll find out. I still, oh, you got the Ruffly scarf too. I have a thing for these. I haven't made one yet. These, I love the crinkly of them. It's just beautiful. And what color is that? Is that like a burgundy? And I like your mannequin head too. Beautiful work. Thank you for sharing. The bunny I couldn't give away and the kitchen towels. 
I wouldn't give that bunny away to either. You deserved it. Oh, and it's nice and flat, so it sits. I like that. And I like the little heart button nose. Ooh, you are blocking it out. Love it. Just finished. Oh, that, you know, I guess it was a duplicate, your ruffle hat. That's okay. What, ooh, Wanda. My try with swirl hearts. I think patterns from Bag of Day. These were done around Christmas time. I like that. Ooh, I really like that. I've seen the swirls done before. I guess you get the hearts, you just put some extra treble crochets in there, some tall stitches to poof out the sides. I like that. I like that a lot. It looks different and unique. I haven't seen any done like that before. Ooh, Caitlin, she got us a plethora of things. All right. Coming up, one number one is the Moon Star. We got Kirby, Parrot Pouch, Belt for Work, Hexy Cardi, Gloves, Cow and Horse. Let's check it out. The Moon Blanket. It's on the way. Oh, I remember this from that, the, your poses. I remember you from the poses. Okay, you are a fave. I knew that already, but super cute. Belt, love it. Oh, Kirby. Cow, beautiful work. I've never crocheted gr gloves before. How was that crocheting those? I've crocheted mittens, but never gloves. Oh, look how cute. Did you send this one before? Yeah, I think you did because I love the way you uh, modeled your purses. I've always had trouble modeling my purses. That look, doesn't look right laying flat, but you put it to the wall. Genius. Beautiful work. And thank you for sharing. We love you, Caitlin. Georgetta. Oh, what you make. Oh. This is, hold on. I, I love this. The candle holder. I need to make one of these in my house somewhere. Where's, where's this pattern? I like this. Oh, where are you finding these patterns? Are you creating these? Oh, like it. Oh, you're multi-craftual, craftual? Am I saying that right? You do multiple crafts. I wish I was like that. Genius. Keep it covered. Oh. That's another one of your cup thingies. <laughs> Minions. Thank you. Beautiful work. Here's that pull tap bodice that uh, Reclected Goods was making. When I seen it on like Instagram or was it Facebook? Amazing. So is this completely done? Let's check it out. Oh, you do get hardware class. This is this is serious stuff. You are a you are an artist, a designer. You're amazing. That is so cool. Oh, I love it. Like from a distance, I would never think those were like pool tabs from a drink. And then you get real hardware on it. You're so cool. I want to I want to be like you. You're, you're going to be my inspiration. My. Oh, there we go. Nope. Here we go. That's just bull stuff. Two more. But back to what I said about Aida. You're my inspiration. I want to be like you. I want to have your crochet brain. Wanda, my attempt at amigurumi, bluey and bingo, backpack for my granddaughter, and one in progress is grandson. That's a cute backpack. And that's that beautiful soft material. I just wanted to like run my cheek across. Beautiful. Oh, it is like the little kid shows, bluey. And it's more than an attempt. You did a good job. And TK from Across the Pond. Oh, your name is Tyne. Did I say it right? These are some of my recent yarns and two scars. I crochet with some of them. Hand spun is thicker to spin out, but so, so satisfying. So satisfying when finished. You do yarn too. Multi-crafty people. I'm jealous. 
Ooh. I think once my kids grow up, ooh, I, I just want to touch that. And I'll have an extra room in my house. Maybe I'll have a spinning room. Hmm. Am I missing anybody else's? Okay. That looks like we got to see everybody's in there. Do, do, do. Those candle doilies, super cute. They were. Hillbilly um, Heaven says, I'm not as young and cool as creative as you all are, but I love your fun and creative vibes. I'm not as, I'm not creative. There are a lot of like artists that do amazing things in here. Myself, I'm basic crochet girl. I make little hats. I make little mittens and stuff. I don't do anything fancy. Hey, what's up? Uh, good afternoon. Blessing and crochet. You made it to the very end. I'm about to wrap this up soon. Oh, there's my neighbor from Jeanette. Knitting a scarf with sleeves, crocheting a wrap, and amigurumi manti, but currently trying to finish a diamond dot cow picture for my college daughter. I'm sure there's random other works in progress. Adipose from Doctor Who. Did I miss that one? See, I'm not great into the uh, Doctor Who universe. I do like it. I've watched it here and there, but I haven't completely been to the Doctor Who universe. So one of those pictures must have been it. Let's see if I missed anybody's. Right? That little red bear that they made with the heart. Boop. Just want to bop it on the nose. Oh, talking about boring crocheters, you're not hurting anybody's feelings. I said boring. I'm not saying any names, but sometimes, how can, how can I say this? Okay, I'm not going to talk about any crocheters. You ever seen that Saturday Night Live skit? It's probably from the early 2000s. It was like a talk radio. And it was like these people just on talk radio AM. Like, and it's so boring. And blah, blah, blah. And blah, blah, blah. It can get a little bit like that in the crochet universe. Okay. All right. multi craftable sounds like a new gender on the spectrum. I mean, I do love craft, so I don't know. All right, guys, I enjoyed this live stream. We're going to wrap this up and don't worry. I'm going to be back again next week, 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Sunday. So please make sure you check me out. Subscribe. Thank you, everybody, for participating in this live. You're the ones that make this great. So, guys. I'll see you all next week. Bye, guys.